Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and today I'm going to give you the first update of my Heaven and Earth Designs Mini Lucky Josephine Wall. Right guys, I'm working on a blank canvas as you can see and I'm working off a cross stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs Mini Lucky. This is her. And I'm working off the paper version, so I don't use the app Pattern Keeper. I have gotten multiple messages <laughs> and comments like, why don't you use Pattern Keeper? Guys, I have explained that in an earlier video. I'll put a link over there to the playlist so you can watch from the beginning if this perhaps is your first time. Uh, but Pattern Keeper is an app and uh, the app only works on Android devices and we're an Apple household over here so I don't have an Android device. Yes, I could get one. Maybe I will in the future. But for now I just thought, well, let's just try the old-fashioned way on paper and just to challenge myself to see if that really is that difficult. Um, no, it isn't. It really isn't. It's just counting, like with cross stitch. And uh, yes, I can totally see that Pattern Keeper will make that a lot easier because the way the app works, it just show you which colors to use when. Um, but for now, this is just the whole other way to do this. And, well, it's the cheaper way for me. <laughs> and, uh, well, okay, what did I do? So, this is the pattern that you get. You download it from the website. Also, all that information, how I did that, that's all in the playlist, guys. So just go check it out. I'll put a link to the playlist in the description as well. And the description, because that's been asked a lot as well, is always underneath the video guys in the in the box okay so the chart instruction are like okay so you get the first page and you work in the direction that the pages are set up at least that's what i'm doing so i started in the top left side page one so i started there and i'm going to work like that and then like that so this is the first page that I did, yay! <laughs> and I use a marker each time I finish a grid. And this is the overlap with the next page, so this is page two. So it's like this. And then you just go on and on and on. And in total, In this pattern there are 24 pages, but look guys, this is the, well, last part at the bottom, so that isn't the entire page. Look, and this is 18. So you got a lot of full pages and then some smaller pages. So, okay, but I just finished the first. Guys, when I'm working on this, I must be honest, I do like two grids. So grids is 10 by 10. Two grids at a time and then after that I'm done because it's a lot of counting. It isn't really relaxing, it's just a challenge. And when I want to relax, I just do diamond painting, a normal diamond painting. Okay, let me bring you up close. Okay, so here you get a bit of feel for the diamond painting and you can see these are little butterflies when you see it more like this you can see it and that's and that's this part so i just did the rainbow that part and then right now i'm with the butterflies it's really really confetti heavy guys and confetti means just a lot of color changes in a small area in this part and for me it was nice because I could begin with this and as you can see these are kind of lines so, so 
So as you can see, these are kind of lines. So this was easier to do and that was great because that was the start. There are 90 colors in this diamond painting, guys. So that's the first one. <laughs> okay, so I did the first page. I'm going to continue with this one that's going to go over here and just work my way through. Um, I'll give an update, I think, about every page that I do. I don't know how it will work at the, at the end, though, uh, as I showed you those bits and pieces are smaller but I want you to see this one come to life <laughs> with me it's really fun to do it isn't difficult um, it's just it's just counting guys it's just counting because okay I'll, I'll show you once again look you just pick a grid like this and then I work within the grid I work row to row and then I just use so I start with this symbol and work all the way through the grid, just one grid. And then I continue to the next one. So I work grid per grid because for me that's easiest. You could also do it like this, but because you have to count the whole time. For me that at the moment, I'm only just starting out, that works best. And also because you see these thicker lines on my canvas and I'll show you look on the canvas that's the blue line so I just know that a grid 10 by 10 I can just follow the blue lines and that works really great for me and when you're working up close you really don't see that these are going to be butterflies but then when you step back and that's always so much fun with Josephine Wall you see Oh, I just finished a butterfly. So I'm going to continue this one one grid at a time. It's going to take me a while to finish this one um, because I'm doing other projects as well. And well, guys, I just think that this is not a project that you should rush. Um, for me, diamond painting is all about relaxing. This is more of a challenge uh, because you need to keep counting. So this isn't uh, relaxing but it is great to do but you just need to to do bite-sized pieces so I'm going to focus on my heaven and earth design Anna Dittman uh, that's a crown jewel canvas also from the same company but that's actually already a diamond painting so I don't need to convert anything and I'm going to be working on this one on the side and well, you'll see an update every now and then, but don't expect <laughs> one every two weeks or something like that because I already know that I can't keep up with that promise. So I'm not going to promise you anything. I'll just have a new update uh, when I'm ready <laughs> with another page. I hope you will follow along if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this project. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a follower and guys I have lots of other projects going so you'll have enough other videos to check out and if you want to know more about me um, there's a whole playlist which is called whip time. I'll put a link over there and those are whip and chats where I talk about my life and what's going on so you can go and binge watch listen to that one if you'd like uh, while you're working on your own diamond painting. Uh, just treat it like kind of a podcast or something like that. Or maybe you'd like to watch the screen. That's possible as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue with this one. Uh, if you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>